Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Brian. Today, I want to talk about ideas and idea generation. The reason that I'm bringing this topic up now is because somebody actually asked me very recently at a con, uh, you know, the, that age-old question, where do ideas come from? I think it's one of those questions that we as authors get an awful lot. And it, it's, it's a difficult question to answer, but at the same time, it's very simple. Uh, very simple because ideas just sort of happen. They, they have no, uh, you know, they don't ask for permission to enter your mind. Uh, they, they don't sort of like intrusive thoughts. They sort of just kind of happen, right? Um, but I, you know, it's not a very satisfying answer to be honest. Uh, Stephen King once said famously that uh, he gets them at a, he gets his ideas from a used used idea store in Utica. Um, I, I like that because it's sort of cheeky. Uh, if you're Stephen King, you can be cheeky. Uh, I'm Brian the writer. I don't get to be cheeky. I have to come up with a better answer than that. Ideas can come from uh, people watching. But some of my better ideas actually come from... Uh, well, okay, let's let's talk about people watching for a second. Um, my, my, my book, The App, came from uh, people looking at their phone and like, being focused on the phone, right? And they don't they don't look up from it. That's how the app kind of happened. Um, the the main characters of my book, Rhea Polk, uh, a mother and a son, uh, that actually came from uh, you know some fond memories of going on vacation uh, to like my grandparents' house with my mother and whatnot, going on a momcation. Um, the book uh, or the 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 lake in the book. Uh, Lake Oleander, as I call it in, in the book Rhea Polk, is loosely based on uh, Coons Lake, Indiana, which is where we would go. Um, I also think, uh, so like Crimson Tassels. Crimson Tassels is kind of a cool thing where, uh, you know, we, we, we start out with a homicide, uh, like, a, like a triple homicide, suicide situation in a house. The idea for that book came from when I was a kid we would go through corn country and uh, there was a lot of abandoned houses so what would happen is farmers would keep these old houses on their property and they would fall into disrepair nobody would maintain them but the reason they didn't knock the knock the houses over over because it was essentially taxable property uh, so they could take it off of their taxes because um, it just worked out better for tax tax purposes so they really didn't knock them down. So you would have these old buildings, and sometimes they'd be boarded up. To this day, you can still find some of those old houses out there. If you drive through, like, Illinois and Indiana, you'll see it. You'll see these houses sitting there. Um, Haley, uh, in, in, in the Begorian Chronicles, she is loosely patterned off my daughter. And, and the thought I had one day, um, I... I think I was frustrated with my 16-year-old as, you know, dads quite frequently are. Parents are, if, if you've got a 16-year-old, it's it's like having a stick of dynamite living in your house. Uh, at any moment, it could just spontaneously light and explode and take everything out around it. But here's the fun thing. It doesn't get destroyed. It just comes back to do it all over again. Teenagers are fun. Anyway, um, but that's where the idea sort of came from of Haley. Well, how would I want Haley, how would I want my own daughter to react if suddenly she found herself kidnapped and taken into outer space? What, what would I want her to do? How would I want her to, to sort of embrace that situation, uh, to, to, to figure out a way to get home? Um, ideas are funny things. Uh, ideas can come to you in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. You wake up from a nightmare if, if you do that, do yourself a favor. It's well worth your time and effort to get up, get out of bed, run downstairs, grab a sheet of paper, and write it down. Uh, I usually come down to my computer and I'll type out a couple of paragraphs because if I capture that idea, uh, you never know when that idea could pop up again. It could become important again. Uh, so so hang on to those ideas. Um, they, they might be useful. Um, I have actually taken some ideas from... Uh, my my idea pile and pulled them out and dusted them off and used them. So anyway, uh, that's five minutes with Brian on the topic of ideas. Uh, if you would like me to talk about another topic in the five minutes with Brian format, 
hey, let me know. I am going to do, I keep promising a drunk five minutes with Brian, but to do that, I have to be drunk, which means I have to schedule it a little bit. Kind of weird scheduling getting drunk. But anyway, uh, someday we'll get around to it and we'll shoot another video like that. Uh, anyway, as they say, ta-ta for now. You guys have a great week. Bye.